what's up y'all welcome back to my channel my name is america and in this channel i talk about self-care skincare and lifestyle topics if that interests you hit the subscribe button we're gonna get into the video so i know i spent some time for the month of march making videos of like lashes but i promise you i'm going back to the natural reviews and the natural products i promise so today I will be doing a review on the Native Aluminum Free Natural Deodorant. I will basically be doing like the pros and cons of how I feel about this deodorant. And if you're interested, I did review a couple of natural deodorants um, in the past. So if you're interested, you can go check out those videos. If you're not aware, I do try to use aluminum free deodorants and I do have a video that specifies and goes into detail about why I'm choosing to use aluminum free deodorants. So I will link that up here if you wanna check that out. I bought this girl from Walgreens she a little dirty sorry but um it smells so good that's the thing i want to buy stuff that smells good right and this is aloe and green tea and it smells so good and i'm just like this is gonna be a really good product so i bought it um definitely because of it being aluminum free and definitely because it smelled really really good so it is very similar to like your regular deodorants that you see um one of the natural deodorants i had like was clumpy and just didn't look right but this one it looks like your regular deodorant that you would use one i noticed that it did not leave streaks on my dark clothes. And that was something that I definitely wanted to make sure didn't happen um, because I was wearing dark clothes for a little bit because like the winter time and I didn't want to wear bright clothes. So it doesn't leave streaks on your clothes. Then of course, another pro is that it is aluminum free and it is baking soda free. Now I'm gonna maybe get more in depth with like baking soda free um products but just know that it is aluminum free and it also is baking soda free another pro i honestly have noticed it feels like it's lightened my underarm i'll show y'all like a before picture but it honestly looked like um it lightened up my underarm so i'll give that i'll give that one of the pros now for the cons, unfortunately, it leaves clumps underneath your armpit. And that is something I personally don't like, um, especially because the summertime is coming and you want to wear like tank tops and you want to wear dresses and, you know, you're going to have your armpit showing. I don't want clumps underneath my armpit. So that's definitely a con for me. I don't want to have to keep reapplying something. I want it to work and it's not working that well for me, so I had to keep applying it. I noticed after I shaved, there was a slight burn. Even when I waited a couple minutes before I applied the product, there was a slight burn with the uh, deodorant. So definitely be careful of that. So would I recommend this product? Personally for me, it didn't work out the best as I had hoped for. I don't really recommend it just because um, it left clumps underneath my armpit. It, um, I had to keep reapplying. Smell this. It's not the same when you apply it onto your skin after a couple hours. It just goes away and I want something that really, really works, you know? So if you're interested in this, this is just my review on it. It could work for somebody else. For me personally, this isn't something that I'm gonna continue using. Definitely gonna go get some 
new deodorant today for sure again i had focused my videos on a specific series that i did last month but i promise y'all i'm going back to natural products uh, right now it's everything's in the works going right now i'm trying out things doing um little like experiments right now so yeah for anyone who's interested in this type of content make sure you like the video hit the subscribe button because i will be giving y'all more natural review videos and i will see y'all in the next video